Media and yeah. Blogging Community or what's your name? Thank you so much for having me in the EP relaunch. Ayan, um, we find it very promising. And for your first question, um, ang tanong nila is, um, can you take us through your beginnings as an artist? Ayan, uh, paano ka ba na-discover? And besides a very obvious thing that like you're a multi-talented person and who's able to translate your personal experiences into uh, beautiful songs or music. So, paano ka nagsimula? How did I start? I'm, I, I'm, a, I'm one of those artists that are very secretive about the things that I do. So, I would rather just collect all of the things I make and then that's it. I don't release it into the world and I think um, it, was, it was just a matter of time before someone was able to push me to make that decision to share the things that I do to the world. And I started songwriting as early as seventh grade. You know, with, with people in school, like we would, I came from a very artistic school. Um, and, and, you know, it's normal for people to jam in the cafeteria, in the hallways, people are playing the ukulele, the, the guitar, people were forming bands left and right. Um, and I'm just really happy that I was placed in such an environment. I think that's what pushed me to perform. And I just needed, I'm just really grateful for the people that have pushed me to go out of my comfort zone. And I guess how I started was, I just took that leap of faith. I submitted a song. And that was actually love sick. And that when I gave that song, I ko hindi pa ready to. Hindi pa ready. Hindi pa pwede mo ilabas to. Sabi nila, sabi nila sa rocks and sir na, hindi, ready na, ready na. Saka parang, sure kayo. <laughs> but I'm just really thankful that they saw that. Because sometimes, you know, when I create things, I don't see the value of it compared to what other people know about it. It's hard. That's actually sakit ng artist niyan. Um, and I'm just, yeah, I'm really grateful that there are people like that in my life. That they came at the right time. So, yeah. Um, how did you prepare it? Because it's a, you know, a major, major uh, change. Uh, if you, dati tahimik ka lang. Now, um, talagang exposed ka na. Talagang magpabago yung boy once you were uh, introduced as an artist. Uh, paano mo pinagandaan yun? I think, well, first of all, I sat on it. <laughs> I didn't immediately take the opportunity. I sat on it and then sabi ko, kaya ko ba bigyan ng oras to sa buhay ko? And I, I was actually very reluctant about it because it's really not my comfort zone. It's really not my style. Um, but I prayed about it, and I found peace with it, man. And I decided to. Um, how I prepared for it was I, I, I talked to my family about it. I talked to my friends about it. And then I was like, "Do you want to do it? Do you want to do it? Do you to Or I did it because I was pressure to do it. And Part of the preparation was being honest to myself if, if I like this or not, and I I decided that yeah this is this is a leap I'm willing to take. So yeah. Congratulations! And for my second question, um, you mentioned a while ago you're about to graduate from college. Are, are you yes. willing to do uh, to go full time in music after college? Yes, <laughs> I'm I'm considering it, but also. I the good the amazing thing about this industry is everything's suit so um everything's everything intersects. Um art, you know, production, music production, um they're all in the same circle. So I feel like if if I did go full time I wouldn't really be limited to just music. That there are many things to do, many things to create. So yeah, I'm willing to go full time. Um, if you, if you don't mind, ano ba kini take mo for college? I take mo the media arts. Quite related. Yeah, yes, to everything. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, for our next set of questions, uh, si Mom, we have um, si okay, I just <laughs> sorry, we Joy Pagulo of the Philippines. Star. Yes. Hey, uh, so my first question is, if your high school crush is here right now, uh, what would you say to him? <laughs> Um, if he was here right now, what's up? How is it? How is it in your life with other people? Actually, this, this high school crush actually knows that lovesick was written for him. 
And he actually congratulated me about it. And then I'm done with that again. I guess I would appreciate that if he was here. Um, but I guess, I guess that's the thing about happy crushes in high school. They're just happy, and they just stay that way forever. So I'd like to preserve that as much as possible. So. Yeah. So what you see, Dalia, naman yung may dito. Ano yung sasabihin mo sa kanya? Ayun si Mr. Diba, same, ka, same person siya doon siya, lang tayo ng gawin ni Dalia? No, no, no. Ano? O ba it's si Mr. Diba? Hindi siya nila dami. O ba it's si Dalia? Si Dalia, if she was here? I guess, I guess I would go up to her and I would say sorry. Because I feel like the kanpa is not enough. But also, I think it's awkward if I just randomly message her online out of the blue, out of at, after many years. Um, but I guess if she was here, I yeah, I would I would apologize to her face face to face. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Charlie. For our next set of questions, we have Julie Alcantara of Manila Bulaki. Hi, congratulations on your um. I'm just wondering, Latin, since you mentioned that you're still on college, how do you balance your writing songs and going to school? Do you want to write at some point? Do you want to write at some point? I think they kind of balance each other out because when I'm overwhelmed with music, I have my school. <laughs> if I'm overwhelmed with school, I have my music. And I think it's just, I think it's a good balance. But also, I'm just really excited to graduate because I'm also a tired student. I'm tired because I'm tired. I'm tired because I'm tired. I'm tired because I'm tired. And yeah, I, what, I guess it's okay because they're related to each other. Um, you know, my music is also my work here. And you know, my school is also my work here. And you know, my school is also my work here. And you know, my school is also my work here. And you know, my school is also my work here. And you know, my school is also my work here. And you know, my school is also my work here. And you know, my school is also my work here. And you know, my school is also my work here. And you know, my Excited for that. My second question is, if you were given a chance to collaborate with any local artist, who and why? Um, can I give two? Sure, sure, sure. 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 <laughs> um, I think the first one would be definitely Adi, because I see how I see how when he writes about love. It's very, it's very genuine and it's very homey. Pasok na pasok sa vibe ko, sa vibe ko yun eh. So if I could collab with someone, I guess it would be him. Or I think one of my dream collabs is Moira. Talaga, because I feel like she and I would get along when we, if when we were talking about friendships. I think she would, I think she would have a lot of wisdom about that. I would love to learn from her about that. So yeah. Thank you so much, Judy. I just heard from uh, our head of music, Sir Roxy Nikiga, that they're currently writing songs for Ben Mariano, with, uh, along with Teresa. So, can you tell us about that? <laughs> Very yeah. exciting. Um, yes, we're, we're, I'm me and Belle are planning our, on writing a song with um, Atticus. Yes. Um, but also for her, for her upcoming songs, um, I think I really enjoyed getting to know Belle recently. Because we were talking to her in the studio, and then all of a sudden, my cat is And. Um, I think one of my favorite activities to do is to listen to people's stories and think of paano ko gagawing kanta to, or paano ko gagawing how do I make this into a creative narrative? Kasi masaya daw ng mga like, simple stories. So much potential eh. And when I talk to Belle, I see so much potential. She has so much stories to tell. And I'm, I'm also really excited for her. Um, with, with what she wants to, what how she's gonna write in the future then, because I see that there's there's a potential in her. Yeah, and I'm also really excited to write with Ate Dre, Ate Dre. Without preempting anything, um, what's the most interesting thing you found about, uh, you found out about Ben? Name? The most interesting thing that 
I discovered about her was that she was actually she's very um kind of a she's very she knows how to express her emotions. I guess she's really good at doing that because when we first met and then Kenya like what she wanted to write about, I understood it like ganon ganon kabilis and a snap. And I, I don't know if she's, uh, she, it's because she's articulate or anything. But I think she's, I think she's very brave in letting me know her, her personal, um, like her personal stuff. And I really admire that about her because it takes bravery to do that. So I think dun ako nagulat tito. Nakala ko shy shy lang siya. But apparently she's a very strong, um, opinionated person. Yung namin mga convictions sa buhay. Na 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 kami sa ayat to work with someone like her. So yeah. Ang galing. So it's not, uh, hindi lang personal experiences, may natachin slate mo into songs, even the, the experiences of others. Yeah. Grabe. For our next set of questions, we have from Inquirer Lifestyle, Alex Brooks. Yeah. Hi, Jessica. Uh, it seems that you have the uncanny uh, knack for songwriting, given your age. Uh, Tao dito, did you have formal studies about Songwriting? No, no, no. I just, I just spent. I think um, I started songwriting when I was in seventh grade, and of course, it's not the best. And then I think as I was growing up, I found out what I liked and didn't like about my writing, and then I adjusted um, based on that. And I also have a lot of. There are many writers that I look up to, also, um, especially Taylor Swift. <laughs> Taylor Swift is my, she's my mother. Um, I learned a lot from her. I learned how to figure out anong maganda pakinggan, anong hindi maganda pakinggan. What are the necessary things to say in a song? What are the unnecessary things? How do you know if it's too long, too dragging? How do you know if it's too short? Um, how do you know if it's too vulnerable or sakto lang or may pagitin lang? Um, I think those are the things that you, I, I was able to learn it as I was, as I was growing up and writing songs alone in my room, so, yeah. So you didn't seek uh, professional help from, uh, from, I know, from musicians or songwriters? No, um, I think I took one class. It was a worship songwriting class. And I didn't even take it because um, I think it's the kind of thing that when you're writing, you have to find out what your style is sa pagkwento. Hindi mo pa, you can't really learn it from, if there's no formula for it. You can't take classes and then, pero mo na magsulat ng kanta. Because, I mean, front, yeah, you can write a song, but how do you make sure that it's yours? Because that's the kind of thing that you, you can only discover on your own. Paano mo gagawin? Paano mo titimplahin yun ng sarili mo? So, yeah. Uh, 